Across the globe, the Middle East often seems like a region that struggles to find peace, particularly after the ongoing conflict between Hamas and Israel that erupted in October 2023. Now, a new conflict has flared up between Iran and Israel, marked by reciprocal attacks that have only intensified the tensions in the region. Iran's claws break Israel's defenses. The feud between Israel and Iran is part of a long series of attacks. Since Israel's attacks on Palestine, Iran and its proxies have been the most vocal and active in opposing Israel. The most discussed recent attack began with Israel's assault on the Iranian consulate in Syria on April 1, 2024, which resulted in the deaths of 16 people, including two Iranian military generals, Brigadier General Mohammad Reza Zahedi and Brigadier General Mohammad Hadi Haji Rahimi. Following this attack, Iran's Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei declared that Iran would not remain silent and would retaliate against Israel. True to Ayatollah Ali Khamenei's promise, on April 13, 2024, Iran launched an assault comprising 300 drones, ballistic missiles, and cruise missiles at Israeli territory. This massive strike was not only launched from Iran, but also from various Middle Eastern locations where Iranian proxies are based, such as Iraq, Syria, and Yemen. The attacks successfully penetrated their targets, including the Ramon and Nevitim air bases. The attack on Nevatim Air Base was particularly significant as this location is known for housing Israel's F-35 fighter jets, which were used in the attacks on the Iranian consulate and the Gaza Strip. The penetration of the Nevatim Air Base by an Iranian attack marked a significant blow to Israel debunking the rumors that Israel boasts the world's strongest air defense system. It's particularly notable because the Nevatim Air Base was reputed to be the most fortified air defense location on Earth. This incident suggests that the label of strongest on Earth might have been exaggerated by Western media. After being attacked and embarrassed by Iran, Israel, closely allied with the United States and, of course, the United Nations, immediately called for an emergency meeting. Israel positioned itself as the victim, claiming a right to retaliate, a stance publicly declared by its UN representative, Gilad Erdan. However, Israel's victim mentality was questioned as the Iranian representative at the UN, Amir Saeed Iravani, revealed that Iran's attack was a proportional response to Israel's assault on the Iranian consulate. This controversy further tarnished Israel's international image, as it appeared to be an attempt to distort the facts. Following the UN emergency meeting, it was unexpected that Israel, failing to convince the international community to condemn Iran's attack, took matters into its own hands. On April 19, 2024, Israel reportedly launched a retaliatory strike on Iran, causing damage to an Iranian air base. This news was startling, yet the truth behind it was even more astonishing. Viral findings on social media revealed that the Israeli missile attack never reached Iran and was intercepted in Iraq. Only a quadcopter drone made it into Iran, which was dismissed by the Iranian space agency spokesperson and ridiculed by Iran's foreign minister as a child's toy. From the bizarre reality of Israel's attack on Iran, it's not just Iran that ridiculed the assault, but even Israel's Minister of National Security, Itamar Ben Gvir, criticized it with a single word, weak. The retaliatory strike by Israel also garnered additional bad press when the Iran Observer account on X mentioned that the United States had contacted Iran to allow Israel to make a symbolic attack to avoid embarrassment. This request from America was not aimed at saving Israel's face, but rather it worsened Israel's image even further.
Despite the failure of the initial attack on Iran on April 19th, it does not mean that Israel has ceased its intentions to strike Iran. In terms of attack capabilities, Israel indeed possesses full strength that should not be underestimated, even by Iran. According to available data, Israel has a fleet of fighter jets equipped with various missiles for aerial-based attacks, and for land-based attacks, Israel also has cruise missiles and ballistic missiles. Regarding fighter jets, Israel fields three variants, the F-15 Eagle, the F-16 Fighting Falcon, and the F-35 Lightning II. Among these, the F-35 Lightning II stands out as the best and most modern jet. This multi-role stealth fighter jet boasts incredible flying capabilities. Its maximum speed reaches Mach 1.6 or 1,975 kilometers per hour with a cruising range of 2,800 kilometers and a strike radius of 1,410 kilometers. The F-35 is also capable of carrying advanced weaponry such as the AGM-114 Hellfire air-to-air -air missiles and the AM-120 AMRAAM surface-to-air missiles. Israel's cruise missile arsenal includes the Delilah missile, which reaches speeds of Mach 0.85 equivalent to 291.5 meters per second, with a range of 250 kilometers. The Delilah is equipped with an advanced guidance system, incorporating a thermal imaging system, an inertia navigation system, and GPS. This technology suite enables the Delilah missile to boast an impressive accuracy level, claiming a margin of error less than one meter. Furthermore, as a nation with a prominent military presence, Israel also has its own series of ballistic missiles known as the Jericho. There are three variants of the Jericho missile. The Jericho 1 is a short-range ballistic missile. The Jericho 2 is a medium-range ballistic missile. And the Jericho 3 is an intercontinental ballistic missile. The Jericho 3 is the most advanced of the series, with a staggering range of 11,000 kilometers. With this capability, the Jericho 3 can target and potentially strike any location within Iran. What makes the Jericho 3 particularly fearsome is its nuclear warhead, which weighs 750 kilograms and has a yield of 400 kilotons. This yield is 25 times more powerful than the atomic bomb that devastated Hiroshima at the end of World War II. Thus, the deployment of the Jericho 3 could be a nightmarish scenario for Iran. With his full strength earlier, Israel is clearly still capable of launching an even more powerful attack than before. The subsequent attacks will undoubtedly see Israel targeting more strategic areas, starting with Isfahan. Located 400 kilometers from Tehran, this city is one of the most critical areas for Iran due to its various military facilities. These include an air base, drone factories, missile production facilities, and a nuclear facility established in 1999. In addition to Isfahan, there are also two other provinces, namely Loristan Province and Kerman Shah Province, which are suspected to be locations of Iran's underground missile bases. Following these, Tehran becomes a prime target for Israel if they are serious about escalating the conflict with Iran, given that Tehran is the capital of the country. The possibility of Israel attacking Iran remains ever-present, but of course, if this were to actually happen, Iran would not remain silent. A post on Iran Observer on Platform X reveals that Iran has understood the workings of Israel's defense strategies and will have other more painful tactics in in store for Israel. So, let's hope that Israel and Iran can restrain themselves to decrease tensions in the Middle East. It's also exhausting to think about having ongoing wars in 2024 that raise concerns about the potential for World War III.